the ancient land of Ethiopia in eastern Africa. Population 82 million. Poverty is rampant. Children are homeless, abused and neglected. Less than half go to school. Four million people cram into the capital of Addis Ababa. 200,000 children roam the streets, begging to survive. They lack the basics of food, clean water, clothes, shelter, and education. For nearly 2,000 years, Ethiopia stood as a stronghold of the Judeo-Christian faith. In 1530 AD, soldiers of Islam began a holy war against Christian Ethiopia, destroying churches and shrines. Today, one-third of the population is Muslim. The crescent, the sign of submission, is lifted up high atop minarets that tower over the mosques. The sword of Islam threatens to stamp out a young and vibrant evangelical church. Wherever we place a church or school, Muslims try to intimidate, destroy, and impede progress. One of our primary churches has a tremendous vision and plan for educating, feeding, and bringing the hope of the cross to the children. However, their Muslim neighbors are working hard to buy up all of the surrounding property in an effort to strangle the church's ministry. The hope for Ethiopia is not found in lifting a crescent, flag, building, or even the economy. It is instead found in lifting up the cross. The cross is a universal sign of love, peace, and hope. YWEA 2011 will lift the cross and raise the children by developing a ministry center and a children's ministry network that will reach thousands of children every day. We will bring education, food, clothing, and the love of Jesus to the people of Ethiopia. The leadership of the church in Ethiopia has vision, passion, and a strategy for ministry that is working. However, they have inadequate resources, facilities, transportation, and materials to fulfill it. But they simply cannot do it alone. What is God calling your church to do? What is the Holy Spirit saying to your youth or children's ministry about Ethiopia? What are you going to do with the call of the people, come to Ethiopia and help us? Are we going to allow the symbols of Islam to threaten our ministry there? Will we let their attacks on the church stop the ministry to children? They may use fear tactics. They may lift up their hands to strike the church. But we will lift the cross and raise the children to build a ministry training center and minister to the needs of the children in Ethiopia for YWEA 2011. In the 50th year of YWEA, we need pastors, churches, youth groups, students and children willing to pray for the church in this ancient land. We need people who will stand beside our leaders there and give of their time and resources to help. And yes, we need to raise generous offerings for Ethiopia, YWEA 2011. What are you going to do?